Ensure that the rubber membrane extends a minimum of 25mm onto the adjoining roof surface to be joined to. Fold back the rubber membrane and apply a bead of water cutoff mastic directly to the surface to be joined onto. Position the termination bar over the rubber membrane and directly over the water cutoff mastic bead. Using the pre-drilled holes in the termination bar, screw the termination bar in place using the fixings provided. Ensure that the EPDM washer creates a complete seal. The screws need to be the correct length and type for the underlying roof. If you are joining the rubber membrane to asphalt or built up roofing systems, especially where there might be an insulation layer installed below, extra long screws may be required to screw into the underlying roof deck. Ensure that sufficient water cutoff mastic is installed so that when the termination bar is screwed down, the mastic squeezes out. Water cutoff mastic is specifically designed to work under compression to form a seal. The mastic stays tacky throughout its working life. Do not substitute water cutoff mastic with silicon or other types of mastics. Trim back the excess rubber membrane, being careful not to cut the underlying roof material. Apply a bead of lap sealant to the edge of the termination bar to create an additional seal between the EPDM rubber membrane and the underlying roof material. 